Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. I am extremely happy about this one. We are partnering up with Mobile Dog Gear here and I could not be more ecstatic, you guys. So not only are they great for your pets in general and being able to travel and have all of their stuff in one spot, but being a service dog handler, I feel like it's even more essential because when I travel, I have so much, not only of my own things and my own medical things that I need to pack and, and know where everything is, but I've also got to take care of this girl and she needs her own bag so that we can put her food, whatever she needs to not just be a pet on vacation, but to be a working service animal on vacation or on a trip or whatever it is that we're doing. And I really feel like this is gonna make life so much easier. This is their large week away bag in pink. And I'm really excited about it. Before I open this, this is what I am currently using. And it's actually very, very small. It's not very big. It doesn't hold much at all. And before that, I would just throw her stuff up in plastic bags and like stuff them in my suitcase. And even that didn't carry all of her stuff. So I'm really excited to check this out from Mobile Dog Gear and see how this works with a service dog and what all we can fit in it. We are going to be doing more videos on this later on in the future when we actually do travel and I am packing it for travel. I am going to show you guys that um, this will probably end up in my service dog gear videos and what I think of as a necessity for a service animal. So jumping right in here, here is the front. We have this little name tag ID so we can put our information on the inside that way if the pack ever gets lost. Hopefully it'll be able to come right back to us. So when we start opening up the front of the bag, we have the placemat and bowls. So when we're out, I can just have her bag sitting, my come right here. I can have her bag sitting right here. I can pop these placemats out and the bowls. I can leave it like that if I want and just feed her like that with the bowls and the water. Or I can fully remove the placemats and place it wherever I want that we are staying. And these bowls are going to be big enough for water for the night for her. I'm not going to have to worry about refilling a lot. I'm not going to have to worry about our our other smaller travel silicone bowl. It doesn't hold like her whole dinner. And so that is definitely not going to be the issue with this. These are very, very large. So these are not going to be a problem with being able to hold all of her food. And you can get different size bags. They have they have smaller coats. They have this week away bag for small dogs. They've got it for large dogs. They've got all sorts of different bags. So you guys can go and find what would fit for you and your lifestyle and your dog. And I am truly so excited just to know that I have a designated spot for her and all of her things. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Okay, so moving on, we have big pockets here, mesh pockets. We've got a full back of mesh pockets. And the back, you can also put it on top of your suitcase. When you're rolling your suitcase, it can just sit there. We've got another mesh pocket on the other side. Unzipping. Ooh, we've got more mesh pocket space up here. They've literally utilized like every single part of this bag and I love it. The inside here, we have these two bags and a shoulder strap. But here's the inside of the bag. It's very deep and this, is detachable if you wanted to detach it and just have one large compartment. But we're going to test it out with a couple of things here in just a moment. 
and see what we think it can really hold. So I believe it's like 15 cups of food that these are supposed to be able to hold between food and treat. And these are really nice size lined bags for food and treats. So you guys, this is so much better because I would literally put her food in Ziploc baggies. <laughs> and that's how we would go about it with Ziploc bags. These are going to be so great. Like, I'm so excited because depending on how long we're gone for, I can either use one for food and the other one for treats. Or if we're going to be gone for that long, I can use both for food. And it just, I feel like that's such, such a convenience. I love that. So what you would do once these are full is we would press them down. I'm trying to make sure we get the bottom and I'm trying not to smush them because I want to replicate what I can here. Okay. So I don't want to like cram them down. I want to, this is about how much space we have after both things of food are full, right? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's so many like places. And of course we have the shoulder strap we can connect to here. Oh, I'm excited. So if I was traveling with my service dog, what would I need to bring? I would need to bring her shoes, which are in the car. Um, so I would need to find somewhere to put them away or they would be on her depending on how we're traveling. Um, obviously her gear. So she would have um, a vest on or a harness on um, that we would have access. So I wouldn't necessarily pack that away. I would want to pack an extra leash. I would, depending on the season, I would either want to pack sweaters and jackets, like now it's winter, or I would want to pack a cooling vest that I can wet down to keep her cool during summer. Maybe I'd pack a rain jacket. Um, it, it's just really going to depend on where am I going, how long am I going to be, and what's the season and weather like. So for now, let's see if we can fit her jacket. So we're going to put this jacket, even though she would likely have it on if it is cold. But I just want to see what we can fit. So we have her jacket. Okay. Let's say an extra sweater. We're going to pack her snood, which is basically, it's basically a scarf. It goes over their neck and you pull this right there and it keeps their ears warm. So we'll pack her snooze. I guess we're, I guess it's cold when we're traveling. We're traveling in the cold. Okay. So I'm going to have all of that right there. And I still actually got a little space. Okay. Um, toys, right? Dogs like toys. So let's pack some toys. We've got this hard chew. We're going to put that in right there. We have another hard chew. That one, I believe, actually squeaks. We've got interactive toys for Cug. We're going to stick those in there. Too. Um, a brush. We always need a brush. I can put the brush in here. I can put it up here. Let's just touch the brush right there. Um, we're going to pack her little sunglasses. So these are her little sunglasses. Um, let's just put these right here. Okay, so now we got sunglasses. All right, let's, let's pack a bandana because bandanas are cute. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going in here. Okay, so usually if it wasn't cold, I'd be packing a rain jacket, but since her cold jacket is waterproof on that side, I wouldn't need a rain jacket if it was raining and if it was cold. Um, what about a mat for her to lay on because floors get cold and she's a working service dog. She's going to be in restaurants with me and everywhere else laying under a table for however long that we're eating. And so having something to lay on is good for her so she doesn't get cold. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now we've got that. I mean, we've still got so much space and all the, the, the mesh pockets and everything. All right, the next things, which I actually have right here in this little bag I was using. Um, so when I travel, if I'm going to be staying in a hotel or something, I have my service dog and room thing that I put on my door. Just 
because, I mean, we don't usually have room service come in anyway, but hospitals, whether it's a hotel, anything, it just gives a little extra for the people around you. So I'm going to tuck this in up here. Here is her smell good spray. This is just like her little perfume. I can put her perfume, I can fit right here, honestly. Um, we have a hot spot and itch relief medicated spray. I could put this up here. Um, we've got, if I was going to travel, I would pack anything and everything I needed ahead of time just in case. So she's had issues where she's gotten ear infections before. I still have her ear infection medicine. So just in case, like, what if I was on vacation and she started to get, like, an issue with her ear? If I already have the medicine, why wouldn't I bring it? So I'm going to put that in there. Some Benadryl. That way, if she was ever start having an allergic reaction, we've got some Betarocin. Whoa. Hi. We've got some Betarocin Plus, which would just be good for any kind of open wounds. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, we have a powder, which is also another um, vet medication. She's had issues with hot spots in the past. We have some antibiotics. Um, just different things like what if something happened and I was already gone, if I still had leftover stuff for her, I would pack it. That way I would be fully prepared medically too for her. Um, and I've still got, I still got room in here. I am trying to fill this bag up right now. Um, okay, I, I know that we would not realistically use all this together, but here is how her cooling vest. It, Something you can wet and wring out and put on your dog during the summer to keep them cooled off. And let's see if we can go ahead and put her rain jacket in here too. But again, winter and summer, I'd have different things I'd pack. I'm just trying to fit everything in here at this point. Um, just because. So, yeah. Um, I would still be able to fit probably two extra leashes in here if I wanted to pack an e-collar. I could pack an e-collar. I would still have room, especially, I mean, I still have all of this room back here. I could put so much in this. This is going to be absolutely incredible. And just so you guys can see, I mean, we could really pack this bag down. Like, it's still very, like, we've still got room because it still smushes. We could pack this bag tight and have it absolutely full to the brim. This is going to be absolutely amazing traveling with a service dog. And if you guys haven't checked them out, I'm gonna put the link in the information down below. Go check them out because this has gotta be a service dog's necessity. Whether it's the week away bag for longer trips or they have day away bags. So for like just a day, um, whatever you wanted, or if you have a smaller dog, a smaller bag might be better for you. But again, this is our week away bag, and I am so in love. Like, I really am, and there's so much room, and I could still put her food scoop, too. I could pack her food scoop in here. That way I know how much food I'm measuring out. I love this bag so much. Mobile Dog Gear, thank you so much for jumping in on us with this, and we are absolutely in love with the bag and truly cannot wait to actually use it hopefully sometime soon so everybody stay tuned for the videos with this bag in the future because i promise there definitely will be some and again go check them out i love you guys and we'll see you guys next time bye